<sighs> thought I'd make a video so I've been having a pretty good life up until today up until today and uh, I got attacked by uh, two of the others you know what screw it by her in-laws okay not her in-laws my in-laws I just went through another panic attack so that would be my second panic attack I had Just face it, I'm never going to be good enough for Chelsea. And in fact, one of them said it. <clears throat> said that she always thought she could do better. Well, you know what? Let's talk about uh, what I do. Alright? For one thing, I don't cheat. I don't believe in cheating. I did cheat once years ago. And I learned. That was before Ruby. I was with Ruby for eight years. Eight years. So I believe in not cheating from that one experience. Number two, don't believe in stealing. Number three, I don't believe in lying at all, period, zero. I will not lie about anything, anything. And my wife knows it, and Ruby knew it. Everybody who knows me in my family knows that I tell the truth at all times. I don't fib. I don't even tell white lies. You ask me what you look like in the clothes. Does this thing make me look fat? I'm going to answer it. I'm going to do it respectfully, but I'm going to answer because you asked me. What the fuck? Did you really want me to lie to you? I take care of of the house so what does that consist of sweeping the floors vacuum the floors put a uh, uh, wash the clothes and dry the clothes I lay them on the bed flat on top of each other and then have Chelsea put them away but I've been having Peyton lay the clothes on top of each other to give him a chore because Chelsea thought he should have a chore so I gave him a chore Plus, I'm teaching them how to wash the dishes, which is what I do. I also sweep the floor in the kitchen, mop the floor. I put away the toys every day. I play with the kids. She'll go in there on the couch and just be around them while watching cartoons and won't interact with the toys with them, although that's what they want. And so that's what I do. I act silly and goofy, and I interact with them. I, I'm not addicted to any drugs or any booze. I drink every once in a great while. In fact, there's some beer in the refrigerator that hasn't been touched in almost six months. That shows you right there how often I drink. Don't. Um, I don't beat people up. I don't steal from people. I don't molest people. I don't rape people. Never killed nobody in my whole entire life. I'm not abusive. Although I can get really stressful like I am right now. I can yell. Yeah, of course I'll, I'll yell. Sure. But that's as far as it goes because anything else is just going to get you nothing but bad trouble. That's all it's going to do. These people attacked me because a job. Oh, and what happened was uh, Chelsea hadn't put away the clothes. That's the only job she's got here. Is put away the clothes. We'll be agreed when we got back together after the cheating. Put away the clothes. That's it. And put me put away the clothes every three days. But the clothes have been sitting there for six days. So I asked her, if, please, if she would put them away on her Facebook. And sure enough, that night she put them away. Well, her family thinks that I should do everything. Everything. All of it. Period. Because she works. I pay the bills with my money. Yet, what? It, I thought a marriage was supposed to be about two people being together, helping each other out. I already did the single thing. And when I was with... Uh, when I was with my first wife or second wife for 11 years I did everything everything until I got sick of it and then I left I got tired of it that is not a way a marriage is supposed to be it's supposed to be split Chelsea should be doing more than just putting away the damn clothes but a deal's a deal I also keep my word did I tell you that I keep my word everybody knows that if I say I'm going to do something I do it so 
They got rude. I mean, really rude. Called me an ass. I called them a bitch. But they started first. They attacked me first. And I am so sick of it. I am so sick of it because I don't have a job. They keep telling me, get a job, get a job, get a job. That's all they ever think of. That's all they ever think of is a job. I can't work. I am disabled. I am on SSI. I am sick and tired of hearing it. And they can voice their opinion for a million years. It ain't going to change anything. It's going to continue to be this way. And I'm going to continue now to vlog because I was done with vlogging but and just going to sing. But no, they just keep bringing me back in. So we'll come back in. Huh? So now, you let me know in the comments below, what kind of relationship are you in? Are you in a relationship where you're doing, either he's doing everything or she's doing everything? Are you guys doing things evenly? Are you guys doing it a little bit, like 75, 25? Let me know. I want to know what a regular relationship is. If the person works, is the person that's at home supposed to do everything? What was the point of being married? What was the point? All that did was her working is give me more responsibility. That's all it did. I now have more. Ch I have kids. I raised a baby for crying out loud. And I get no credit for any of it. These people are going to burn in hell for being so damn judgmental and cold hearted to people who are nice. You guys let me know. All right, you guys take care. Thank you for listening. And God bless.